Hi, my name is Amanda McDonald. I'm speaking with Kelly Harrell, the CEO of Viata. Can you tell me a little bit about Viata? Sure. Uh, Viata is software-based networking for virtualized environments and cloud environments. And we basically allow the new build-outs of virtual and cloud environments to have the nimbleness with their network that they also have with their compute structure. Okay. Can you tell us how it fits into the cloud ecosystem? Yeah, sure. So any cloud ecosystem, you're going to have some fundamental components. You're going to have your servers, and you're going to have uh, storage, and you're going to have the networking. Um, with Viata, the networking can be software, just the way that the applications are software. And so network can intermingle with the virtualized applications instead of being high-priced, uh, very in unfungible uh, physical networking gear outside the servers. And then what are you displaying here today? Well, today it's just a, uh, a walkthrough of what Viata does, and one of the things that we're going to be announcing uh, next week is a new performance benchmark that will make the point of just how much power there is in software-based networking. Uh, we're going to be talking about a, uh, an announcement with Intel where we're driving 11 million packets per second per x86 core, and what that means in... <laughs> You know, in English is, holy cow, there's a whole lot of power at your fingertips here, and you don't have to uh, have everything be done in external physical um, proprietary boxes. And then are there any trends that you're seeing lately? Yeah, yeah, definitely. The more that, uh, that uh, advanced servers are being used with all of the uh, core power in them, uh, the more they're virtualizing. The more that they virtualize, the more that they run into these networking problems, and then they're finding that Viata is the perfect solution to solve these problems inside the server. All right, well, thank you, Kelly. It was a pleasure speaking with you today. All right, thank you very much.